Tonight, on alert for more severe weather, already a stunning 24 hours, reports of at least 29 tornadoes. A dangerous commute home, images from Grady, Oklahoma tonight, the pounding rain there. And outside Dallas, look at this, a two by four piercing the windshield of this car, no one was inside. And this funnel cloud, one of so many, this one spotted in Ryan, Oklahoma. Chief Meteorologist Ginger Z with the trouble spots tonight and this Memorial Day weekend. But first, ABC's Philip Mena from Texas tonight. Tornadoes wreaking havoc across Texas. Go this way, go this way, go this way. An EF-1 hammering downtown mineral wells. Hunks of sheet metal blocking the roads. In Runaway Bay, Texas, a confirmed tornado sending two by fours through windshields. In nearby Bridgeport, homes reduced to rubble. This is Wesley Campbell's home. That's his laundry room where he and his wife rode out the storm. I could feel the house moving and then it would just wham. We're just thankful to be alive. 29 tornadoes in the last 24 hours. In Texas alone, 64 in the past two weeks. This tornado in Giddings packing 80 mile an hour winds. <laughs> Oklahoma getting hit too. In Norman, torrential downpours. Drivers at this intersection heeding the warnings. Flash floods can move up to 12 miles an hour. A foot of flood water can be enough to float your car. And at 24 inches, your car can literally be swept away. David, when you consider the force of the storm that caused all of this devastation, it's just incredible that no one was seriously hurt. David. It really is, Philip. Thank you. There are a few trouble spots left tonight. And of course, Ginger also looking forward to the holiday weekend. And she's with us tonight as well. Ginger. Brand new severe thunderstorm watch just came out, David. Let me take you straight to the maps. It's in West Texas. You see that orange area and there, just San Angelo back to Fort Stockton. All of that pink, a severe thunderstorm watch. We're talking big hill, two plus inches. There could still be tornadoes tonight. And then the flash flooding threat. It goes through the holiday weekend and it's in large areas like Oklahoma City to Dallas, San Antonio and and just south of San Antonio has the four to five inch potential. These are places that have been inundated with sometimes double their monthly average, sometimes on track for their wettest month ever. All right, we're thinking about them tonight. Ginger, mm -hmm. thank you. Now to that major oil spill in California. 105,000 gallons on the move tonight and now covering nine miles of coastline in Santa Barbara. This evening, the images coming in birds now covered in oil, whales swimming right into the oil slick. ABC's Candace Gibson is right there. Tonight, a massive cleanup effort underway on one of Southern California's most popular beaches. This oil spill affects all of us. This is a disaster. It's a worst nightmare scenario. This pristine shoreline now an oily mess after an onshore pipeline near Santa Barbara ruptured on Tuesday before the line was shut off as much as 105,000 gallons of oil flowed down this drain and into the ocean. The desperate efforts to save wildlife captured in this photo whales swimming right into the spill out here in the ocean and you can see exactly where the oil entered the water. You see all that black stuff there on the rocks where the workers standing. That's where it exited a storm drain. The Bill coming just days ahead of Memorial Day. Campers who booked their spot at this state park up to a year ago now forced to evacuate. David, tonight, take a look at this. The sand on this beach still laden with thick, gooey oil. We're told by officials cleanup could take several weeks. David? All right, Candace Gibson tonight. Candace, thank you. This evening, an overwhelming reaction after that massive recall. One in seven vehicles on the roads tonight, 33.8 million with recalls for defective airbags. One, this is what they say those bags can do. One, fire. Worries they can explode with shrapnel fire. hurling through your car. 11 auto manufacturers, so many major names. And tonight, American families demanding answers. ABC's David Curley now tackling three major questions. Why is there no definitive list of actual cars affected yet? Should you inspect your own airbag? And are replacement bags even ready? With the potential tonight of tens of thousands more Takata airbags shattering on deployment, drivers set a record flooding the government recall website. But there's a problem. None of the 17 million newly recalled cars are listed yet. Why no list? We went to the head of the Highway Safety Administration. If I go to safercar.gov, I, I can't even find out now if my car is part of this new recall. We have 11 different manufacturers have to give us the data. It takes a while we have to get that online, and then we have to make sure next that the parts are going to be available. So without knowing, should you inspect your airbag on your own? No, 
These are complex and contain explosive chemicals. Should you disable your airbag? Absolutely not, say experts. Airbags save lives. There is some risk. Takata found that nearly one out of every 100 recalled bag inflators ruptured, sending shrapnel flying during testing. Stephanie Erdman knows firsthand what can happen, losing partial sight in one eye. I had a massive strike on my right side, and I just blinded out on that side, and I just felt this dripping blood. So the advice from the safety administrator? What are you going to do? I'm going to look up the VIN number in our personal car. I'm going to see if we need to get to the dealer. I'm going to basically ask, if not demand, to make sure I get a loaner. So if possible, I don't have to drive it. You can find the VIN, the Vinic vehicle identification number, here right on the car, the dash below the windshield. It's 17 numbers and letters. And David, the government says they should have all those VINs in the system by early next week. By early next week. In the meantime, I want to get back to what authorities just told you there in your report. You're really supposed to call your dealer and ask them for a loaner? How likely is that? It's a possibility because before the expansion of this recall, some of the car makers promised Congress that they would offer either a loaner or a rental to before they could get their car fixed. A lot of drivers out there very angry tonight. David, thank you. Tonight there is word of a second U.S.